Uh. Cisco's Old Navy store on Market Street announced today that it's planning to close when the store's lease expires in July. Now, this is the latest in a string of stores leaving the Market Street corridor. KTV's Janet Katsuyama joins us now live in San Francisco after talking with shoppers and retail workers about the ongoing shift in that area. Janet. Well, Old Navy says that they are going to be closing the store July 1st. That's because their lease actually ends here at the end of July. And today we talked with shoppers and other merchants about some of the changes in retail as well as the challenges that people down here are facing. Old Navy's three-story flagship store on Market Street has been a retail destination downtown for more than 20 years. But now it's set to close its doors July 1st. I, I used to shop at Old Navy a lot when they first opened. This shopper, Arthur Campbell, says he's noticed a decrease in customers at the store. Since the pandemic, I've noticed that it has been a slight difference on everything because of the uh, economy's gone down since then. The Old Navy closure is just the latest in a string of San Francisco retailers that are closing on Market Street, including the Westfield Center's Banana Republic and Nordstrom, as well as Nordstrom Rack and Anthropology. Across the street from the Westfield Center, the entire block is empty storefronts, except... <laughs> My God. And and they don't and they're not gonna turn this around here. They're not gonna change their vote. They're not gonna vote any different. They may not vote for this Democrat, but they'll bring in another Democrat. Like, I mean, yikes, man. These Democrats ruin everything, man. Look at that shit, man. Downtown San Francisco, a whole block with one fucking storefront. Except for one shop, Dr. Martin's is still open. They're hanging in there, honestly. It's been definitely getting a little bit more quiet, but it makes people kind of appreciate that. We're like, Look at that. In her, look at her. Yikes. Wherever you see her, and that's like literally seeing a sun man. Like, you should be just as afraid when you see her as if you see a sister. When you see her in your neighborhood, it may be time to put a for sale sign up. She's just as fucking... Well, she's not as dangerous, but she's just as fucking, um, what's the word? Um, goddamn de degradating. She degrade the shit just as bad. She'll, she'll bring it down just as bad. Now you're not going to have any problems out of it. She's not going to be fighting at Six Flags. She's not going to be beating her kids on the subway. She's not going to be, um, you know, fucking destroying the store because their fucking EBT card declined. But she's going to push a lot of shit and introduce a lot of shit to your fucking city and your community that's going to fucking have a ruinous effect, man. Weather says Phoenix Sun population, according to demographic trends, shows a very concerning increase <laughs> from 4.8 in 1970 to 7.1 in 2020. The sun is burning brighter and brighter in this state overall. Yeah, if they if they get to if they get to eight, it's a wrap. You can't turn it around. If they get to ten, man, it's just I mean, it's time to start thinking about leaving Phoenix. Um Jesus Christ, this fucking shit. It's still open. They're hanging in there, honestly. It's been definitely getting a little bit more quiet, but it makes people kind of appreciate that we're like the last remaining store still here, you know? The manager says rents have been on the rise, hurting retailers that have been struggling to recover from the pandemic. The loss of convention business and tourists also added to the pain, along with more people shopping online. Does Liz have anything jumps out at you? Want to try it on? Post pandemic, I think everyone's in that hole. Oh God, everybody here looks like fucking weirdo. All these people are probably non-binary too, man. Shit. 
people online, let's online shop experience rather than coming in mm -hmm. and looking at products in person and trying them on. Also, fewer people working downtown has meant fewer customers. I work downtown and so just on my way back from work. I I at Dr. Martin's, they're hoping the return of big events such as Pride will help them keep afloat. We're actually getting ready to set up our whole like window display for Pride too. It is really convenient to have these stores down here. It'll probably change a bit, but hopefully something good will come in at this place. And tonight, Old Navy sent us a statement. They said that they still plan to have the shop at Gap headquarters open, and they're going to be looking for other locations. All Jesus Christ, man. They ruined that city. That was a great American city, man. They fucking ruined that shit. New at five tonight, a pawn shop in Richmond is being called the center of a prolific theft operation that stretched all across the country. The stolen items range from laptops to cameras to watches and jewelry. The San Joaquin County Sheriff's Office says two men are in custody. They say this investigation began after a vehicle burglary in Stockton. From that burglary, deputies uncovered an alleged scheme to steal and sell stolen goods through the Oral Max pawn shop on 23rd Street. This investigation is about a thief who comes from the Bay Area, from Richmond, who embeds himself in the San Joaquin County. And what he does is he continues his course of criminal conduct by stealing property from unsuspected victims. Investigators have identified 140 victims so far, some from as far away as Brooklyn. Deshaun Allen, the alleged burglary suspect and pawn shop owner, Urias Ochoa. Jesus Christ. 